The arts are alive in Centerville and thanks in part to this place, the Queen Anne's County Center for the Arts. For more than 40 years, the mission has been to champion performance, visual, and cultural arts. Delmarva Life's Katie's really stepped inside to see how this nonprofit continues to enrich the lives in this part of the peninsula. How would our lives be if art didn't exist? The answer might surprise you. You wouldn't be able to get up and put on a pair of pants. They wouldn't be there. Rick Strittmatter ain't kidding. And that's why he and the rest of the leadership at the Queen Anne's County Center for the Arts believe so much in the nonprofit's mission. It's bringing the arts to our constituents, every demographic, you know, minorities. It just, it's really bringing um, that presence just uh, kind of a universal application of the arts, whether it's classes, uh, concerts, um, exhibitions, whatever, to everyone in Queen Anne's County and also people outside of the county. It's a mission that's existed since 1977 and one they accomplished by learning about what people like and dislike and building on that. There is an awareness and although we try to tap in and bring new things to our population in the county. We also want to deliver as far as um, what they like, like, you know, the concerts are really big, you know, and um, some of the outdoor events with food and drink and, you know, it, the idea is to, we don't want to push the arts down anyone's throats, you know. We don't want to say, oh, you've got to do this, you know. We want to find out what they want to do and then we, integrate that with like some new stuff and so far it's worked out really well. The organization is funded through the Maryland State Arts Council. Concerts, coffee houses, events, exhibitions, workshops, classes, you name it, they bring it. Even though a lot of this went online through COVID, that didn't slow down the momentum. Queen Anne's County is a very face-to-face -face county, you know, we like to do it in person. So these Workshops and classes are definitely coming back and people are signing up in droves. I mean, they sign, they sell out in, in you know, an hour, hour or two. It's pretty remarkable. Also remarkable, the various artists you'll find living right here in this area. We have a ton of like writers, uh, visual artists, uh, uh, people in film, animation that have moved over here because it is so, it's, it's still kind of rural and you can still kind of get away from things and now it's so easy to just work from home, you know? So we have a lot of artists, sculptors, on and on and on over here. And I would say that people really aren't aware that these people are, you know, as part of the population. Rick himself has worked in graphic design, illustration, architectural design, and he's a musician. This is kind of a long haul. It's what I've done since I was old enough to know that I wanted to do it, which is pretty young. He took this job five years ago and was excited to give the organization some new life. It was like poking a sleeping person, you know? I mean, if you're asleep, you're not gonna do anything, but when you wake up, you can do all kinds of things. So all of a sudden, you know, we were doing, you know, concerts and, and uh, it, the exhibitions are much bigger. Um, it just opened up a lot of, uh, a lot of things that hadn't been done, you know, and um, I have an incredible staff and we've been able to do, I think, some pretty, uh, pretty amazing stuff. And it'll get even more amazing once they complete their annex behind the building. They're currently fundraising for that project. Hopefully, when the building is done, probably within about five years, it will be a uh, place for classes, concerts, more exhibitions, and it will really increase what we can do as far as our outreach. Outreach is important to this organization. They'll do whatever it takes to get art into people's hearts. Our members that we see a lot, they'll come up to me and they'll go, here's so-and-so, she's never been to an exhibition, you know, and she just loves it. She has a great time, you know? And a lot of times it's not your typical uh, accessible art. It may be something really different, you know? Um, and our concert series and plays, and we've got a lot of members that way, new members, you know, would come in and they would be like, yeah, you know, I'm definitely gonna do this. This is great stuff. And though the art takes center stage, there's often food and drink at exhibits and events that helps bring the fun. 
it's art, you know, and it's and it's great and it's informative and it's and it's beautiful and it comes from all over. But it's also a bit of a party. And Rick says those parties will hopefully pop back up sometime soon. Things are getting back to normal and people are, are I think they're really looking forward to getting out and having a good time. Having a good time while celebrating arts of all kinds created here in Centerville and beyond. Now the experiences and opportunities that you just heard about inside are all made possible through the contributions and the donations made by members and friends. If you would like to be a part of it, all you have to do is get the information from DelmarvaLife.com. Our small town series Centerville will return right after the break. <laughs>